problems with the rights. Because this guy was a really intelligent yeah. man. So he's definitely against, uh, he's not a very big fan of uh, Food Reserve uh, Central Banking, but he is quite intrigued by free banking. Yeah. I, don't know, I don't know whether the man even knows what it is. Uh, the interesting, the interesting thing is <laughs> yeah. that, 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 that these people also are thinking. I mean, these are Yeah, they, of course. Yeah. And, and yeah. He was also a member of Parliament for a yeah. very long period of time. Um, yeah. if, if you can bring in a guy like that, yeah. Yeah, and they, said, what, yeah. with all the problems yeah. that we have in the yeah. Euro, I told you, I yeah. told you, and I told yeah. you, and told you, yeah. you didn't want to listen to me, and now we've ended up with this big mess. Now, I mean, this is a guy who can't just say this is another occupy crazy yeah. libertarian. And, and we but this may be good to... This is the yeah. problem. Yeah. My society yeah. in large, they will try to, 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 to hammer you yeah. as a and the, crazy guys, anarchists, yeah, occupy but, movement. But, but, but what is really interesting of all monetary proposal yeah. uh, reforms, they have their origin in the ideas of Fisher and Soddy in the 1930s. And th that were really Chicago schools, so also really free market economists. And at one day they proposed a 100% reserve system. And that's, that they thought there should be rules, and within that system there should be freedom. So if banks collapse, they should collapse. Yeah. And not, so you should split pr public and private. So that's a really uh, a big advantage. So these are, these are not new. So in the 1930s there was again a bit the same debate. Yeah. Uh, then it, so the, there are uh, analyzers that it went wrong because of political pressures, and uh, so yeah. it was more a power struggle than the ideas were not, were not bad enough. Or not, it was not about the ideas. Then later, even Friedman wrote about this kind of ideas. So there are really famous economists. And at this yeah. time, for instance, Martin Wolf in the Financial Times wrote about a half a year ago. Mm -hmm. The chief economist is really, I think, one of the most well known economists in the world. So, um, strip, strip private banks with the power to create money. Yeah. And he is, uh, yeah, so he's supporting this kind of ideas and especially in the UK also Edda Turner and Richard Werner other, uh, sorry, Edda Turner, the former head of the Financial Service Authority, the uh, English AFM his ideas go in this direction and of course you can discuss uh, should you really go there of all the way so there is a kind of uh, yeah, so you can have hybrid systems of course but so th these ideas are not new and there are quite some famous supporters and in the Netherlands for instance the economists of the, in the sustainable finance land they are investigating the topic and also, um, for instance, Bert, uh, uh, Klaas van Egmond and Bert de Vries, they modeled it. And uh, they say within a sovereign mon monetary system, there is less debt, there is less boom and bust cycles. It's, it, so they, f they find exactly the same rules as, as Kumhoff uh, and Beans of the IMF. So, and that's interesting. So there are more and more people are investigating it. And that's yeah. also in academia. It really takes a long time yeah. before the research is well yeah, <laughs> but is you done. Can, but you, you need somebody yeah. who's really yeah. out of this heavy weight. Yeah. 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 Really yeah. Yeah. I totally agree. Yeah. 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 yeah, this week I, uh, I was at one of the heads of the Dutch uh, of leaders of the Dutch, uh, uh, Dutch political party, and I had to explain the money creation. So that's in the Netherlands exactly the same. It's just one which it's everywhere. So people are uh, they only discuss uh, leverage ratios. They only discuss uh, uh, yeah, the culture of banks, but they don't discuss the system. Yeah. And so what we argue is we should at least openly debate uh, about yeah. the system, and then you can find new ways. Yeah. The problem is that it will become so technical. Yeah. Discussion, yeah. and that there will be so yeah. many yeah. Of, of conflicting yeah. opinions yeah. that they then lean back and yeah. say, "Okay, well, uh, well, it's an interesting discussion, yeah. and, and we're going to move on to the next political topic." Yeah. This is exactly what's yeah. going to happen. Yeah. And, 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 and if you don't come yeah. up with a very clear proposal, yeah, no, that's true. Is really, yeah. by, by leading people, yeah. then then you're going to be yeah. caught up in the. Yeah. In, 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 in,
Yeah, maybe I want to one, one remark. Also, what George van Hout is one of the actors said uh, was asked in the yeah. in the talk show: if uh, shouldn't he become a politician? <laughs> that was really a good question. He said, "Yeah, maybe I should." So th there, there is also a lack of economists. They are afraid of new ideas, and with politicians, it's a bit the same. So it's yeah. quite hard to get new ideas in the. Exactly. So exactly. that's the point. Last question. Yeah. Could also, could also include, um, the, could be opposites, could be the currencies within the system. No, not yet. No. Now, so, so in the beginning, we had a proposal with a kind of questions. Mm -hmm. So, what is the role of the uh, government in uh, complementary currencies or local cryptocurrencies? Uh, how do you connect uh, money to value? Uh, can the government introduce uh, debt-free money? But if you want to have a discussion in the debate, you, your proposal should be concrete as possible. So that's, that was the main point. That's why it's not a Yeah, 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 yeah. There were also, yeah. Yeah, and I know, I think it's, so I'm really interested in mutual credit system and peer-to-peer, -peer, so that's, but for me, the, so, if you want to connect to, to the real issues now, so that's a bit again the same. Yeah. So there you have to find the solution also. So otherwise, yeah. So it's both. I think you should try both. Yeah, I think you should always have competing. Yeah. Choice. Yeah. 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 There's one system. Yeah. One that's not good. yeah. Yeah, and I think it's, at least within a democracy, it should be really uh, good to decide sometimes really that all people are aware what kind of monetary system do, do we want. And now it's just like this, but there is a decision behind it. And if you say, yeah, we have a free banking system, all people agree, agree. okay, do we want full reserve banking? If, if all people want that, okay. But we should be aware of it. And now, nowadays, people are not aware of it. They, yeah. they think it's just, yeah, it's given by God or by nature that this, this monetary system. Yeah, it's difficult. difficult. Yeah, it's yeah. difficult. Yeah, it's difficult. Yeah. I think you really have to take the euro as, as a starting point for all the problems. Yeah. And the yeah. Yeah. problems yeah. are yeah. still very much yeah. hidden. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like, for example, Greece and yeah. importing yeah. of Greece on, on these loans, yeah. on these other shaky. <laughs> Thank you all. Uh, okay, uh, Martijn, uh, thank you for giving your presentation. Oh, sorry. Um, uh, please get some drinks, uh, some coffee, and be back for the next presentation by Amin Ruffi uh, about uh, side change technology and uh, Bitcoin and cryptocurrency in general. So, get some drinks.